Did you know that roughly one in five U.S. adults regularly wear a smartwatch or wearable fitness tracker? Fun fact, the first modern fitness tracker was the Fitbit, released in 2009. Of course, its predecessors, such as the humble pedometer, have been around a lot longer. Hi viewers, and welcome back to Bestie! If you want to develop healthier habits and need a gentle nudge to help you along the way, a fitness tracker can be a great tool. Depending on the tracker, they perform a wide range of functions. While they may seem like a needless investment for those who already have an athletic incentive, fitness trackers can be the ghost you you've been looking to compete with all along. And in today's video, we'll tell you everything you should know before buying a fitness tracker. From what it is, features, advantages, to disadvantages, and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Let's begin by telling you what exactly fitness trackers are. These are wrist-worn devices that track your movement and other statistics throughout the day. They encourage you to walk a little more, try a workout that will raise your heart rate, drink more water and take the stairs rather than the elevator. They're small changes, but all add up to a healthier lifestyle. They usually come with an app on your phone where you can see stats such as your heart rate, sleep patterns, and step counts over time. You may even receive virtual badges to reward your efforts. Some fitness trackers also let you connect with friends, share achievements, and compete with one another in mini challenges. There are a lot of brands that make these trackers. Some of the best ones are Fitbit, Amazfit, and Garmin. There's a tracker for every budget and style. It's true. So whether you want to spend 50 bucks or 250 bucks, there's a tracker for you out there. However, like any technology, the more you spend, the more you get. If you're a casual user, there are some great budget options out there that work perfectly fine for your needs. But if you're seriously into sports and fitness and want to make an investment, then it might be better to go up in the price chart a little. To get the most for your money, look for a decent display, heart rate monitor, and step counter as a minimum. Be sure to check reviews before you buy, because even the most expensive options on the market might have some nuances to be aware of. Do you prefer a fitness band or a smartwatch to keep track of your health? Tell us quickly down below in the comment section. Moving on, let's tell you about some of the features that you should look for when buying a fitness band. Number 1. Heart Rate Monitor just a few years ago, the heart rate monitor was a more novel feature on fitness trackers. However, the technology has spread and many more devices are able to track heart rate. Monitoring your heart rate can help you get a better idea of how many calories you're burning in a day, especially during a workout. It can also show you when you're in your target heart rate zone so you can maintain intensity. Number 2. Exercise Recognition to monitor your workouts more accurately, some devices have activity sensors, which can detect whether you're doing certain things such as running, cycling and walking, or doing aerobic exercise versus sport. It will then automatically log your workout in whatever app your device is using. Number 3. Smartphone Integration there are a multitude of devices out there that offer some form of further functionality for your smartphone. Some simply provide notifications when your phone is getting a call or text, and others can actually display and respond to text messages or make calls. Many of these can also control your music. Interested yet? Make sure you join our millions of followers and hit that subscribe button for all our great Bestie content. Number 4. Step Counter Like the pedometer, a step counter counts how many steps you make. You've likely heard about the benefits of walking, so how do you know you're doing enough? That's where the step counter comes in. Depending on which brand you choose, your counter can monitor not only steps but direction and speed too. Number 5. GPS While many trackers can offer you insight into how many steps you've taken, getting a device that also has GPS can add other dimensions to what you're tracking. Some GPS devices can map your routes and provide stats like your distance traveled and pace. Devices that have GPS features are great for runners and cyclists. Number 6. Swimming Support Many fitness trackers aren't waterproof and can't be worn in the pool. With many devices, you can log your workout in the app after your swim, but there are a few waterproof ones out there to keep an eye on. These devices may be able to track a number of additional metrics, such as how many laps you complete and how many lengths you do in each lap. Number 7. Coaching for the most part, trackers are there to log your fitness stats, but in some cases, they can also provide feedback and help you improve your fitness, health, and in the case of your workouts, form and execution. If you're looking to get real-time feedback on your workouts and health, then this is a feature you might not want to miss. Number 8. Movement Reminders It's a simple feature, but one we think is super useful. A movement reminder is basically just a vibration from your device or a notification via an app to remind you to move when you've been still for too long. 
For those of us who sit at our desks all day long and get lost in our work, these little reminders can be very valuable to ensuring we take a break. Not just to get moving, but to give our eyes and minds a rest as well. Number 9. Calorie Tracker Most fitness bands are able to measure the amount of calories you burn during a walk. Some of them also have calorie intake and weight trackers, where you can input your food intake and compare calories burned versus calories consumed. After all, your body weight and fat content largely depends upon how much you are eating against how much you're using or burning. Number 10. Blood Pressure and Oxygen Levels A few years ago, fitness bands did not have a blood pressure checking function, but nowadays there are a few fitness bands which come with this feature. These can give you blood pressure readings. However, note that these are not medical grade BP measurements and results can vary within 5% as compared to a reading on a medical grade BP monitor. Manufacturers have also started to add oxygen level measurement in fitness bands. However, these may not be as accurate as fingertip pulse oximeters. Number 11, sleep monitor. Sleep monitoring tells you about the length and quality of your sleep. This is an important feature if you're looking to improve your general fitness and well-being. Lack of sleep quality can adversely affect your health in many ways. Some fitness bands also have silent wake-up alarms and other intelligent features related to sleep. Getting a good night's sleep can be challenging in these stressful times. Learn how you can sleep better by watching 10 Life Hacks to Get a Good Night's Sleep. Now back to everything about fitness trackers and why you should own one. Here are a few advantages of these fitness trackers. Number one, comprehensive overview of your health. When it comes to our health, it can be hard to estimate. That applies whether it's how much exercise we're doing, how much we weigh, or even how much we eat. But this data matters. Keeping in check on the real numbers gives us a better understanding of how we're doing, not how we think we're doing. Number two, data when you need it. Ever go to a doctor's appointment only to be asked about your activity levels or calorie intake? It's easy to tell an accidental lie. After all, how do you know? Wearing a fitness bracelet takes the guesswork out of it, leaving your doctor with facts, not fiction. Number three, push yourself to be motivated. It might be cold outside and that winter walk seems unappealing, but when you look down at how few steps you've done, you might just change your mind. We're competitive creatures, always striving to do better. That's why when it comes to numbers, just seeing them helps push us forward. Number four, fitness progress. Nothing motivates us like seeing how far we've come. Fitness tracker apps have data that illustrates all the progress you've made, whether it's more steps, fat loss, weight loss, and more. Number five, find your optimal program. When it comes to creating our diet and exercise programs, it can be hard to pinpoint what actually works for us. Fitness trackers can help by monitoring when you're most active and which activities work best for you. Finally, there are a few downsides of fitness bands as well. Number one, accuracy. Not all fitness trackers are created equal. Some have varying degrees of accuracy. Studies have been found to evaluate this and found that they are reasonably accurate, but reasonably isn't perfect and that always leaves some room for error. How much depends on the band you choose. It's always best to check your results with a doctor to ensure they're accurate. Number two, loss of interest. Any new gadget is fun for a while and fitness trackers are no different. After some time, you may find yourself bored with it and forget to wear it. If monitoring your overall health is your goal, this is problematic as you won't get a full set of results. Number three, obsession with numbers. Caring about your health is great, but what happens when it becomes all about the numbers? Well, that's bordering on obsession. For those prone to eating disorders such as anorexia, fitness trackers might have a negative impact on turning a healthy plan into an obsessive one. Even for those without disorders, it's vital not to become too consumed with facts and figures and look at the overall picture. While fitness bands can help keep track of your health, they would be of no use if you don't do any physical activity. Learn more about the best exercises that will keep you healthy by watching 16 cardio exercises to do if you hate running or 10 effective and quick exercises to get rid of stubborn belly fat. Go ahead and watch one or both of these videos for maximum benefits. What's the most money you would spend on a fitness tracker? Let us know in the comments below.